What's up, Fisher people? One second. <laughs> that is a gorgeous 27-inch walleye. What's the, is that the biggest you ever caught? Yes, it is. Is it? Sweet. Are you okay letting it go? Yep. Are you sure? Yep. All right. Go ahead. Whenever you're ready. As you might be able to tell, I'm back in Iowa for a little while. Doing a little family slash friend visit tour, taking a little time off the water. Until hitting hard for the fall season. And that's why it's appropriate right now to give an update on the wall hangers 2020 competition because as of now, Les Roseboom is still leading a 27 and an eighth inch length walleye which was caught back in June, which was a great time to catch some big walleyes right post-spawn, and some of them are still pretty shallow. Um, and we've caught a lot of great fish in between there. As you can see just scrolling through this list here, there's been a lot of really nice fish caught by a lot of really cool people. And that doesn't even include the ones I've been fortunate enough to catch along with the other people. I mean, hey, I got a head start, I got an advantage, I'm on the water every freaking day. But the point being, there's a lot of nice fish in the lake, and there's a lot of nice fish waiting to be caught by you. There's been a lot of rock stars in the boat, reeling in some pigs. But it gets a little bit tougher during the middle of the season, because a lot of the big fish might be out either super deep or out trolling the open basin, hunting for cold water bait fish. However, in the fall, when the water temps start to drop, the surface temperature starts to drop first, and eventually the surface temperatures in the shallows become colder than the water down deeper, and these cold water bait fish start coming up in near shore again, and so do the big walleyes. Which is why September and or especially October can be the best shot that anybody has at top and less. Now remember, of course, what this is all about. I mean, obviously catching a great fish may be your personal best walleye, but unless you're able to beat him, Les is gonna be the proud owner of a beautiful fiberglass replica from FiberTech Productions. made exactly to the specifications of the fish caught. So not only is the fall season amazing fishing and amazing big fish fishing, but if somebody can top less than 27 and an eighth, I think they probably can. They got a shot at this free replica as well. So anyway, what to expect. Right now, the water temperatures are Still basically at their peaks. We're just getting to the end of August. We're gonna need a little bit of time before the super big fish, before the prime time fishing for the largest fish starts to really kick into gear. Usually after fall turnover, not to get too technical, but again, with the water temperatures, once things, you get start colder water up top and warmer water below and it starts to flip and mix on itself. After that period is when it's all systems go. And from that point until it freezes up, can be some of the best big fish fishing of the season. So as we start to get shorter and shorter days and eventually cooler and cooler nights, I'm looking at next week's temperatures are supposed to be more in the 70s instead of the 90s like they have been. Um, we'll just have to keep watching things as they continue on that way week by week. But you know, middle to end of September, we start looking at that sort of thing and starts to be a reality and certainly typically by you know say second week in October it is definitely there definitely all systems go and as long as you can make it work and make the weather work it is 100% a great time to be on Lake Sakakawea I can't wait for it I hope you can't wait for it and I hope to see you out there and 
great a guy as Les is, I really hope somebody gets a bigger one. Because that would be a lot of fun. Later, Fisher people. <laughs> that is a gorgeous 27 inch walleye. What's the, is that the biggest you ever caught? Yes, it is. Is it? Sweet.